Okay, I'm back. Today we're gonna go north and Broadview to Chester Hill and check out the Chester Hill Lookout. Just coming out of the uh, Broadview subway. Looking at the 504 King, the back of it anyways, streetcar. A little bit of an overcast day, about 24 degrees Celsius. Let's start this thing. So we're going north and Broadview. My first time in this area, people. I'm like a duck out of water, <laughs> or a fish out of water, or a streaker off its tracks. Very quiet area. Known also as Greek Town. Pigeons are having fun. I don't want to get too close. Birds don't like me. A little something going on over here. All the scaffolding. Broadview Avenue. Okay, people, let's go. Let's see if we can get into this walk. Just came out of the subway. My legs are still asleep. <laughs> 925 Don Mills bus right here coming in the 100A I think it's Flemington Park another Don Mills bus 25A a lot of buses Not a lot of people. It's a quite a, as I said, a quiet neighborhood. Clean. And uh, I'm looking like you people. As I said, this is a totally new neighborhood for me. I'm kind of in awe. Pretoria Avenue, right here. I don't think there's anything interesting in Pretoria Avenue. Norris Fine Foods, Riverdale Martial Arts. A lot of small eateries. I think it's a pretty clean and it looks like it's crime free almost a lot of older buildings over there that's what the alleyways look like here a little bit of wind is kicking up people I uh, don't know if uh, you're gonna hear it I don't have the little wind muffs on it's kind of like it's close to downtown but you don't have as much traffic people and craziness and noise and you know still going north on Broadview some of these older buildings as a kid uh, my, my parents uh, rented uh, buildings like this so I kind of know what they're like inside they're quite spacious, actually. Everything now is uh, much smaller rooms and stuff, but these buildings here, if you can get in them, they're quite clean and spacious. And What do you think, people? Leave, leave your comments. What do you think of these little neighborhoods? A little barbershop there. Sun's coming out. Sun's coming out, people. Might be walking into the sun when I hit uh, Chester Hill. But anyways, 
little auto shop over there. It's kind of like old Toronto. Before all the condos and all the small shops, the small garages, the small everything's left to make room for the condos. And high price real estate, commercial buildings and stuff. Look at these old houses, eh? Lots of buses anyways. Heard it's a really good uh, area. You're close to downtown. You don't have all the chaos. Tons of uh, buses and uh, subways to uh, take you around the town. Yep, I lived in uh, homes like this as well too. We rented when I was a little tiny tot. There's a certain smell that uh, these houses have inside. I don't know what they use back in the day for, you know, framing and whatever, but I remember there's certain smells that used to come out of those. Nothing horrible, but unique. Another barbershop there, Tony's. Okay. I think you can get some uh, psychology right there. <laughs> Bob's music. Very interesting. I think if you're between the ages of like 19 and 35, I think you'd really enjoy it here. I'm almost tempted to check out this uh, flea market, uh, not flea market, but guard sale. I, uh, I'm an El Cheapo, I buy things at garage sales and stuff, but I've noticed lately uh, a lot of these garage sales, they don't have nothing <laughs> of interest. Uh, there's this garbage now. Before you can find gems. Okay, this is um, Chester Hill Road. Let's wait for this light here. I'll press the uh, button. See if I can speed the light up. If not, I'm bunny hopping it across the... Hope no cops see me, I'm breaking the law. Okay. I just crossed the road. That's a long light and I have no patience. So we're headed to the Chester Hill Lookout. A kind of a lookout over the landscape of the city that you'd find in cities like LA, you know. Backdrop they use in movies and stuff. A little renovation going on there. These homes, uh, if you don't keep do a regular upkeep, regular renovations, they cost you a lot of money to renovate because everything's like super high and super big. I guess something like this would be they'd be renting over there. Yeah, you gotta you gotta do an upkeep. You can't miss a beat. Keep the landscape. The trees will overtake. Someone looks like they did some serious renovation over here. Okay. Still going east on Chesterville Road. Sorry, <laughs> I'm going west on Chesterville Road. I've lost my bearings. Oh, nice landscaping. There's a little bit of money, definitely, in this area. Oh, it's kind of kind of downtown, and <laughs> you better have coin down here, but you don't see anybody. Nice, well kept, well kept neighborhood. Well kept. Look at the landscaping of these homes. You know, very earthy. You know, very, very earthy. Look. I 
I think everyone's got the same landscape work. <laughs> it's kind of like the same theme, kind of like wild bush with a little color in between, which is very tough to uh, maintain. If it's like grass like this, you can just cut it. <laughs> this stuff here, you gotta prune and prim and take out all the weeds and, oh. But somebody must be having a lot of time at home. Wind's picking up a bit. I think we uh, might be, uh, see the clouds up there? A little windage and a little cloudage. The threat of rain. A little gnome hiding in the bush there. Question is, am I going to be all alone when I hit the Chester Hill lookout? Am I going to be alone? I'd like to be because I want to yell and scream and stuff and yell down at the Don Valley Parkway. Well, if you're interested, somebody's moving. If you want to get a house down here, well hidden. See, let's just say you got a nice, quiet neighborhood like this. The question is, is this too quiet? You know what I mean? Like, you kind of want a balance. You kind of want a neighborhood where the neighbors are not too nosy. But there's neighbors you can talk to and go over and, you know. I wonder what the uh, average age of the people are here are. I don't know. Thorncliffe Avenue. This, this is Thorncliffe Avenue right here. These guys here, I hope they're not bothered by some of the noise that people make when they come here. Oh, looks like I'm not going to be alone. Looks like there's some people here hogging the best spot. Might have to chew them along. Out you go. Go, 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 go. I hope they don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. So here's the little astrology, astrology uh, artwork that was done here by a local artist. Okay. There's no way I'm standing in the middle. This guy might know something, and before I know it, I'll get either superpowers or really bad luck. I need to have an exorcist perform on me. But uh, it's kind of pan the area here. Okay, that's where we came from. Okay. Let's take a look at the uh, what we got going on here, people. So you're looking down to the old Don Valley Parkway. Okay, let's come over here. A lot of bush overgrowth. <laughs> so I can't really see the blower viaduct over there. In winter I would be able to with all this bush gone. Oh. Let's take a look. Can we see it? Oh, there it is. Bring it a little closer. Woohoo! There it is, the blow, the blow of viaduct. And right up there, you can see the CN Tower. Okay, let's bring it back. Okay. More bush. Blocking the view, people. Blocking the view. I think uh, down there is. Uh, that's, uh, they make bricks or something like that down there, I think, for the city. <laughs> Can't really see the Don River. Anyways, city backdrop, look at that. You can almost see the financial district down there. Ooh, the wind's really picking up. Hope you're not hearing it. Okay. I'm bringing it a little closer up there. I think that's uh, a couple of midtown buildings over there, Young and Eglinton. Let's see if I can get you closer. Down. I think at night it would be a lot better, you know? 
uh, craziness. The DVP at his finest. Okay, so this is it. This is the home <laughs> that sees a lot of people throughout the year come down here to investigate this. This here is the astrology uh, piece of artwork that's uh, well known. Down there is some bush. Probably some people living down there. Wouldn't be surprised. A lot of homeless, you know, in the city. <laughs> Oh, yeah and this is the well some of the metal is missing here as you can see this one's bent up should be repaired but I think uh, it's probably for a reason people are going down there God only knows there's a, there's a bit of a trail I can see down there yeah there's definitely a trail down there so okay so I don't want to bore you with any more let's see if I can get a, another angle of uh, the city down there okay let's leave before these people call the cops on me whoa I'm not I'm not stepping in the middle Whoever did this, there's probably some ancient ancient uh, symbols here, and before you know it, uh, my bed's shaking at night, and uh, I'm telling people to F off in a psychiatric ward. I think somebody else coming for another view. Okay, so let's continue out of here. We'll take a different route. We'll go down uh, to Thor Thornville, Thornhill Avenue, is it? <laughs> let's take a look. Thorn Cliff, Thorn Cliff Avenue. And uh, check out some of the uh, nice homes down here. Wind's really picking up. Wind's really picking up. Well landscaped, I must say. Well landscaped. No speed bumps, but you gotta go 30 kilometers an hour. It's kind of like a, a hidden gem. A hidden gem of quiet. I mean, you can hear the Don Valley a bit, but um, again, very quiet. Everyone keeps to themselves, obviously. If you don't see anybody like barbecuing or you know, outside talking with each other. You know, someone's doing a reno here. You can see the uh, toilet in the front. <laughs> There's definitely money, that's for sure. Well, bug almost got in my ear <laughs> it's still buzzing around me excuse me I don't uh, like bugs what the fuck? what's with this bug I must have passed through a, like a nest or something I don't know I'm getting bothered here you're seeing some nice visuals and I'm fighting off my mosquito with West Niles okay look at this piece of landscape in here Tree almost looks like it's gonna fall on you. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know. Would you live in a neighborhood like this, people? It's definitely peace and quiet. A couple of squirrels, a little squirrel action over there.
I think I got bit in the back of the head by the mosquito. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's a Camaro or a Trans Am. Some of these homes are, I guess they're really nice. This one kind of stands, well, they took the old house and put a new front end in it. I don't know if it suits the neighborhood, but anyways, I can't afford it. <laughs> and then, so you look at uh, something like this with the new front end, and this is what the old front ends used to look like, you know. Well, almost looks like you're in the south of the U.S. You know, looks like it's a this one's engulfed with trees and stuff. Looks like a rental over here, right over here. Okay, coming up to Cambridge Avenue here. They still have these things, I can't believe it. Take a book and replace a book. There's probably new stipulations I don't know about. <laughs> Who knows? Nothing is free anymore, but anyways. Okay, let's go down the old Camp Bridge. Like the houses, people? Like the houses? Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Yeah, I think that mosquito got me the back of the head. I'm starting to really look a bit. Gotta stop scratching it. I'll probably sleep for a month, whatever it gave me. <laughs> Anyways. If you don't see me for a month, you know what happened. That mosquito got me. Okay, the Chester Hill Road, once again. I'll get my directions uh, correct. We're going now east on Chester Hill Road again. And uh, I'm going to hit Broadview and head for the subway on this overcast day. And there are the buses, and there's a little bit of traffic. So people, I'm going to end it here at uh, Broadview Avenue. Please like and subscribe and I'll make more vids when I get a chance. And thanks for coming along. Now I'm going to try and make this light. Because <laughs> it's a long light if I don't make it. <laughs>